If you're looking to buy some cheap and reliable coins, make sure you check out NHL Coin Market link in the description. Just go to TaxDate checkout for 5% off. How's it going, guys? TaxDate here, NHL 15 Hummel Team Player Review. In this episode, guys, I'm reviewing Team of the Year, Connor McDavid. If you guys didn't know, I actually put him in a pack about a week ago. Super excited about it. Obviously, had to try him out. He's an 89 overall playmaking center, 89 skating, 90 shooting, 91 hands, 83 checking, and 86 defense. His individual stats, guys, he's got 14 training slots, making him the highest rated player in the game with 14 training slots. He's 5'11, 169 pounds, so he's a bit undersized uh, for a, a player. He's left hand which is good. I prefer left-handed players. 920,000 salary, which is a uh, really low salary because obviously he's still an OHL player for the Erie Otters. So even though he's a team of the year card, he's still considered a bronze card, which also makes him the highest rated bronze card in the game. Where right, you guys can see I've got him playing on the second line here between Bennett and Dreisaw. So it's an all bronze line, I guess. And what's kind of funny is I actually made this line before. Oilers won the draft lottery. So I've got boosted Dreisaw there on the right wing, his future teammate for like the next 20 years, as well as boosted Bennett there on the left wing, his future rival, I guess you could say, for the next 20 years. And uh, they both played very well with McDavid. That whole line thrived. It was probably just as good as my first line of Hall, Duchesne, Malcolm, which is always an amazing line. As you guys can see, I've also got him with some special teams there. I have him as the second line center for the power play and the four-man power play. I've got him as the first shooter there on the shootout, and I also have him as the second extra attacker. Decided not to have him on the penalty kill, simply because I didn't you know, want him to get too tired out on every special team. Right here, guys, you can see his price. If you guys decide to go buy him, it's going to cost you minimum 150000 right now. That's his lowest buy now. You could probably wait and hopefully get him for around 125000 but that seems to be what he's going for. 89 overall team of the year card, McDavid being one of the most popular players in the world. That's really not that bad of a price. I actually expect him to be a, a bit more pricey, but he was kind of easy to pull in bronze packs compared to, like, say, a Crosby or Ovechkin. So that's kind of why he's not as pricey as some of those guys. But still, for an 89 overall player... 150,000 is, you know, a lot of coins. That's kind of like Patrick Kane-ish price. And right here, guys, you can see I actually played 12 games with him. He had three goals, three assists, six points, and it was a plus two rating. So point every other game for me, I think, is pretty good. If you guys watch my Road Glory series, you'll know most of my games are pretty low scoring. Three, two games, two, one games, something like that. So point every other game is very good. As well, he's made his line mates very, very good. You can see Dry Settle, 12 games played, eight points. Bennett, 11 games played, nine points. So obviously, both those players were boosted, nine, nine, everything. So that gave them an edge on McDavid. But, you know, he made them, I think, just as good as they made him. Uh, a lot of plays would be like McDavid winning the faceoff back to the defenseman, defenseman passes up to one of the wingers, wingers cross crease it to the other winger, McDavid's part of the play, he started the play, unfortunately it was just kind of one pass short of being, uh, uh, getting a point for the assist, so a lot of plays happen like that where McDavid's, uh, you know, a, a pass shy, I guess, of getting the point, so I'm going to get into some of the gameplay here guys, you can see just how good McDavid is, Ray was actually the first time I touched the puck, touched the puck with him, he skates by two defenders there, toe drag, puts him in the back of the net, so first time I ever touched the puck with him, he got a goal, from then on I knew he was going to be a good player, right there you can see him winning the faceoff, he was very good in the faceoff circle for me, I would say he's probably about 75%, really unexpected, I didn't think he'd be that good, uh, aside from like Bergeron and Taze, you know, he's probably one of the top uh, faceoff takers in hut right there again you can see winning a face off to Cromwell when you win a face off anything can happen Cromwell puts in the back of the net with a slap shot there from the point nice and easy here you guys are going to see Ben on the puck Ben and Dreisel like I said both uh, impressed me McDavid starts to play uh, Bennett finds Gabrick there makes a nice goal and then right here you can see McDavid getting the shot on net Bennett's there to try to get the rebound in they don't get it but right here you can see Dreisel picks it off puts it to Bennett pass shoot score McDavid back to the net that line was absolutely unreal for me so can't say that enough the line I think was amazing and I think you know all three of those guys are really just helping that line so the fact McDavid wasn't boosted but he's you know hold the hell his own with that line I think says a lot right there again McDavid backdoor put in the back of the net uh, one thing guys McDavid has 90 shooting I was expecting a bit better shooting from him like I never was really, really able to snipe one with him but he was always you know in the right place at the right time he had really good uh, hockey vision I guess but you know most of his goals were kind of just you know putting away the puck opposed to sniping one right there you could see him get hit like I was saying, he's 5'11", 169 in the game. He's pretty weak right here again. He's going to get crushed. So he was unable to like make a successful deke by somebody. He's going to get laid out. He's going to get laid out hard, which kind of sucks because when the player gets absolutely destroyed, you know, they have to get up, then they have to catch up. They're taking out of the play. And actually, you can see, I actually got injured by, uh, and he actually got injured in that one game. So 12 games played, he got injured once. Maybe it was a fluke, but, you know, I think he definitely could be a stronger player. That's definitely one of his downfalls. So speaking of that, guys, we're going to get into his pros and cons. As you can see, his pros, his speed, he's a very fast player. He's got 89 skating. He honestly felt a bit faster than that for me. Deking, he had really good hands. He was able to do all the dekes you wanted to do with him successfully. Never had a problem. Passing, this is going to include basically vision and everything. Able to make the passes he needed to. He was always in the right place at the right time. If I was controlling another player, the AI for McDavid usually had him in the right spot, which is good to see. And then faceoffs, like I said, really unexpected, but he had very good faceoffs, about 75%. So I like that. One thing that's on the list here, guys, is shooting. It's not really a pro or a con. Like I said, he had decent shooting, so it'll be in the middle. Doesn't really need to be on there. And then cons, checking. He's never going to let anybody out for you, so don't expect that. 
you don't really want him to either way. So it's still a con because he can't do it, but it doesn't really matter. And then strength, like I said, he gets laid out a lot. He got injured the one time. So that really is the case usually with bronze players. Even when you boost on the junior players, they're smaller. They're going to get destroyed when they get hit. So it's kind of expected, even though he's a team of the year card, I thought maybe he'd be a bit stronger. But as it turns out, he's not. So should you buy him, guys, is the final verdict. Um, I would say... You should buy him if you don't own Matthew Shane. Uh, for me, Matthew Shane, for around that same price point, he's actually a bit cheaper. You can get Matthew Shane for about 85000 Would be a definite better buy if you're looking for like a center, you know, your first line center, whoever it may be. If you have 100,000 coins, you want a center. You don't have Matthew Shane. I would go and buy Matthew Shane. I think Matthew Shane is just as good, maybe even a bit better than Team of the Year McDavid, and he's cheaper. But if you already have Matthew Shane, and you want like a second line center behind Shane, and you or McDavid fan, or even if you aren't a McDavid fan, I would definitely recommend Team McDavid. He did everything I needed him to do. He's a bit weak on the puck, but like I said, it doesn't really matter too much. His 150000 price tag, if you can get him for between 100 and 125 I would say definitely try him out. And if you are a McDavid fan, then, you know, I would say definitely buy him, even if you don't already have Duchesne. If you're a McDavid fan, you want to use McDavid, I think it'd be a lot better to spend the extra coins, use this Team McDavid, don't have to buy boosts every, like, 15 games or whatever for him. This would probably be a lot cheaper in the long run, opposed to, you know, getting a... Uh, bronze player boosting him up every single time so final verdict guys if you don't already own Matthew Shane go buy him first he's a little bit cheaper a little bit better but if you already own Matthew Shane you're looking for a second or third line center you have about a hundred thousand to spend I definitely recommend Team McDavid especially if he's one of your favorite players go out and get him you won't be disappointed and if you have like you know a few training cards laying around like he's 14 training slots you could probably get him to 99 overall with like 14 plus threes so I mean it would really be cheap to boost him if you really wanted to but like I said you don't really need to if you want to though it's cheap and it's, you can do it. So, anyway, guys, that's it for the review. Like I said, he's a really good player. I'm really impressed with him. Let me know in the comments, guys, whether players you'd like to receive me review in the future. Besides that, guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day. Goodbye.